Hi and a very warm welcome to yet another tutorial of easy video series. In this tutorial we are going to see the new lines, multi line and comments in LaTeX. So with our always the approach is to first see an example and then relate it. Okay, so if you have watched my previous videos, I just give a small introduction. We begin with a document class article that is a base class and a begin document followed by the end document here. Okay, so as LaTeX is a programming language, you for a new line you need to use two backslashes. Okay, so like when I write for a new line, use two backslashes and this appears on the new line. So just let's check the output with and without backslashes. Okay, so these are the two same lines. Here I have used two backslashes and here I have used no backslashes. Okay, so just compile it. And just observe the output. This is section, lines and paragraphs. So section, lines and paragraph. So for a new line, use two backslashes. For a new line, use two backslashes. This appears on the new line. Okay, if you see this text basically is on the new line, line number eight. Okay, had it been word, it would have appeared in the same way. But if you see in LaTeX, this comes in the very same line. Okay, so as you know, LaTeX is a programmed language. So you have to specify each and everything explicitly. So now same thing appears for a new line use two backslashes. So here you see two backslashes and this appears on the new line. Okay now you see for new line use two backslashes. So these two backslashes basically are coming here. So they make a new line and this appears on the new line. As against this this was in the same line because no two backslashes were used here. So with the usage of these two backslashes this assumes the cursor to be here and as it is prints here this appears on a new line okay this now appears on a new line now what happens if you want two blank spaces between lines or a three blank space now if you see when i press a two banks uh, two backslashes here it just comes on the next line it gives no space between this if you want a multi line space you specify in this manner this is line number one Okay, you specify two backslashes and then use this command to baseline skip. So this means that leave a space for two blank lines and then write line number two. So see, this is line number one. This is line number one. And if you see, there are two lines here, though invisible, but you can get a judge that there can be two lines fit into this. Then this is line two. This is line two. Okay, again we specify two blank lines here as explained in the previous video, they have no effect on LaTeX. LaTeX just assume that you are starting a new paragraph. So it starts a new paragraph, you can see the slight indentation here. So this is line three and now I have told it to use double backslash followed by five baseline skip. So I have skipped five lines, one, two, three, four, five. This is line number four. Okay, so for specifying new lines or a multi line usage LaTeX, you use the double backslash, which is mandatory. And if you have more than one lines to leave, you have to use the baseline skip. Two lines, you use two slash baseline skip. For five lines, you use five slash back, back baseline skip. Okay, now an interesting thing. Uh, just like programming language, you can also use make use of comments in LaTeX. For comments, you have to use percentage before the text. Okay. So now you see I have used percentage and I have written this is a comment. Let me compile that for you. So here is a line for comment use percentage for comment use percentage. So if you see this text percentage this is a comment. This does not appear in the output. Okay. So anything that is specified by a percentage, anything after that will be completely ignored by LaTeX. It is not even compiled. Okay. That is just for user reference. Okay. But now you may say that if I want to actually print percentage in LaTeX, what should I have to do? So for that, you have to specify that percentage followed by a backslash. So when you use a backslash before a percent symbol, the LaTeX assumes that, okay, you actually want to print percent and it is not a comment. Okay, so now let us recompile it and check the output. So see, for comment, use percentage, for comment, use percentage, 
I have used percent. This is a comment. So nothing appears because this was an actual comment. For percentage symbol, I, let me write here symbol. So you see, before percentage, I have specifying backslash. So see, only percentage comes. Okay. So anyone who has used C, C++, Java or any programming language, you can just assume it to be like slash n. Okay. So when you specify slash n, a new line comes, not n or something or other character. So in this manner, you learn about lines, paragraphs and multi-line output in LaTeX. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe.